Hello, guys. I'm Gogo, a fake Singaporean. Hmm, a fake Singaporean? Yes, cause I can speak Singlish. I spent many years in that beautiful country and find out Singlish tend to be spoken in many informal situations among ordinary Singaporeans. Walao leh, you take Satifa to chicken rice, but you never take me. Cannot lah, we cannot be friends anymore lah. Hiyo, why you doing homework this slow? Chop chop lah, do faster lah. Anger, anger, I asked you to take me to Bugis, but you take me to Bukitima. It's so far away, jalat lah. Auntie, I want tree. You want tree? No 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 no! I want tree. You want tree trees? Singlish is cool because it indicates cultural intimacy. As a Chinese, I especially like this language. It's like I don't have a really strong English grammar and using a lot of words and tones from our language, Chinese. But here, I'm not recommending you guys learning Singlish. Just for fun, okay? Just for fun. Someone who can switch effectively between the two languages is perceived to be more educated and of a higher social status than someone who can only speak Singlish. But still, English still need to be used for many, many, many formal situations at your school, at work, especially when meeting some strangers which look like it, and more. English is the administrative language for Singapore, not Singlish. English is still the most common international language for communication, but still, someone who can only speak English, not Singlish, may be seen as a bit push in Singapore, but words, not a real Singaporean. So let me teach you some Singlish. First, we need to know the grammar of Singlish. The grammar mirrors some other regional languages, including Malay, Tamil from southern India, as well as Hokkien, Cantonese, Mandarin, and other Chinese languages, which are indigenous to Singapore. By doing away with most prepositions, verb conjugations, and pro words, well, the vocabulary reflects the broad range of the country's immigrant roots. Well, I know it's boring and just a language made by Singaporean. It could be useful sometimes. I used to be charged more than Singaporean when I was buying durian in Singapore, cause I was not using Singlish. I know you will not want to be charged more when you buy endurance in Singapore just because the durian uncle realized you are not a Singaporean. So, learn it by heart. Singaporeans place the tip of their tongue behind their upper teeth like this, instead of between their teeth, to pronounce the th sound. So they end up pronouncing words like ch instead of. Th Uncle, Uncle, I want three durians. Hey, you, Xiao Mei, you are Singaporean, ah. Uncle, give me the eighty-eight durians, ah. Eighty-eight durians, give to Xiao Mei, ah. Hello, please give me three durians. Oh, you are tourist, right? Here is the cheapest durian in the town, and it is the best durian in the town. I tell you, ho, one durian is 一百千 It's very cheap. It's very cheap for tourist. So remember this. This is very important. Uh, switch every to ch. Then you will become a fake Singaporean like me. And again. Now let us back to English. Just now I said, who people who just speak English in Singapore sing as a bit posh, a bit posh. Posh means elegant and fashionable, and uh, 比较级 posher, 最高级 poshest. Oh, it's not a posh ice cream. English indicate casual intimacy. Casual have many many meanings. For example, I'm a very casual person. I'm wearing a very casual dress. We are having casual conversation.